I had a feeling that this was coming. I guess you could kind of see the writing on the wall. Um, but it's still one of those things that when you hear about it, it still kind of catches you off guard to a degree and catches you surprised and with your pants down maybe a little bit. And you've got reports now surfacing mainly from Dave Meltzer and the Wrestling Observer Newsletter that Destination America not only has an out clause in their contract with TNA, uh, but that that out clause can be exercised in September, and it looks like Destination America is indeed prepared to exercise that out and is prepared to cancel any and all TNA programming on their network. Apparently some of the reasons from what I understand that are given is they're disappointed in the ratings that Impact Wrestling primarily is getting. They don't see why uh, they can continue to justify plunking the amount of money they are into TNA to get the return that they're getting. They're having trouble selling the advertising space. It's a whole bunch of network BS, basically. And now TNA as a company finds themselves in a really, really bad way, especially if this is true, and it probably is. For the TNA lovers that want to believe that Meltzer just has an anti-TNA bias and that's it and that's that, and there's not much I can tell you at this point. But I am, for the purposes of argument here, I'm going to assume that this is true because it bothers me and... It troubles me. And I'm not going to take this opportunity to sit there and gloat about TNA dying or talk about how bad of a position this puts them in because, as I did in a video before, I talked about how I'm tired of the TNA death talk and if it happens, it happens. But if it hasn't happened yet, just wait until it happens or just stop fucking talking about it, especially if you don't care about the company anyways. You know, this is not, to me, something to celebrate. You know, this, this is potentially impacting a lot of people in the business in a negative way. This is potentially one less opportunity to get some form, at least, of national exposure. Another area to be able to potentially apply their craft, learn their craft, make a living at their craft. You know, you know sometimes maybe not get the paycheck at all or on time, I grant you. However, with that said, it's still not good for the wrestling business. So while some people might want to sit there and celebrate and say, ha ha, I told you so, I knew this was coming, you know, is it really anything to celebrate at the end of the day? No, it really isn't. Um, is it that devastating, though, to the business at the same token if TNA were to just instantly fold up and go away? I don't really know. You know, you know for the TNA lovers, yeah, obviously. For the people in the business, to a certain degree, yeah, probably. But does it really make it that much worse? I don't know. But my big gripe about this whole thing has to come with Destination America. These fucking idiots and these fucking morons. I'm going to defend TNA on this because this is ludicrous and this is outrageously stupid and so fucking typical of a third-rate bum-ass network like a Destination America. Now let me get this straight. You're mad in part because TNA isn't delivering the ratings you were expecting. Well, ding dong, dumb dicks! What the fuck type of ratings did you expect them to draw on your third rate ass network on a Friday night primetime slot? Seriously! You expected them to be a big ratings boon to your freaking premium price channel on a Friday night? A Friday night! You really thought this was a good idea. Instead of running them, I don't know, on a Wednesday night where, yes, maybe they would have to go against NXT for an hour, but they would still have a two-hour block on a better night in terms of ratings historically, or even fuck a Thursday night going head-to-head -head against SmackDown, they probably would still perform better. Or on a Tuesday night, ding-dong, dumb dicks, where there's no direct wrestling competition, you decide to have them air on primetime two hours on your crappy third-rate network on Friday night. This isn't ABC's TGIF lineup of the 80s and early to mid-90s where ratings were okay at that time. Friday night is traditionally a suck fest for ratings. How many hit shows do you really see run on a Friday night nowadays? One or two networks have a good lineup on Friday night and the rest of them say, fuck it. And there's a reason because it's not a good producing night in terms of television ratings. And yet that's where you decided to put one of your flagship shows was on Friday night. 
And now you're disappointed in the ratings. It was your fucking decision. You're the one that set your format for your network and your programming. Your chickens are coming home to roost. Don't you dare blame TNA for your stupidity and your dumb shit. And then when we talk about the disappointment in the ratings, well, frankly, who the fuck is going to watch your stupid-ass network anyways? I've looked at it multiple times. In order for me to add, in order for me to add Destination America to my Verizon programming, I have to spend at least an additional 40 bucks a month to be able to get the additional packages in order to be able to step up to get a program like Destination America or a channel like Destination America. Who in their right fucking mind would want to do that? You should be doing backflips and handstands at the fact that TNA can sit there and get 400,000 viewers to your overpriced bullshit. I mean, seriously. Did you expect TNA to bring subscribers to your program in droves? Did you expect them to bring a whole new set of eyeballs to your freaking company, to your network? Did you think you were getting WWE? No, you weren't getting WWE. Don't buy a second or third rate option and expect it to deliver you first rate results. You didn't buy into WWE or WWE programming in any way. You bought into TNA. And no offense to TNA, they are not WWE, and the ratings clearly suggest that. So to sit there and get all butthurt and pissed off about the fucking ratings, when you put them in a horrible time slot, when you do a horrible job of promoting it throughout the cable landscape, and you're a freaking premium service that people have to pay God knows how much through their cable or satellite provider in order to fucking get you're lucky you get the eyeballs on your stupid-ass network that you do damn get. And then it comes down to the whole thing of not being able to sell advertising because of this stigma or that stigma is attached to professional wrestling. You know, if we want to operate just merely off of the stupid standpoint that wrestling is a redneck white type of thing, you know, even those rednecks and whites still buy things and there are still companies that want to market, promote, and advertise to those white rednecks. There is no question about that. Because obviously when it comes to corporations and businesses, the only thing they give a fuck about is money, you stupid idiots. They care about green. That is the only color they care about at the end of the day. So if you can't sell advertising space on your network during Impact Wrestling, if you can't get the advertisers to come in, then that is your fault. Instead of looking at Impact Wrestling and talking about the stupid stigmas attached that aren't even appropriate, maybe you should look at your advertising team that can't sell shit. They can't sell a freaking life preserver to a drowning man. They can't sell a glass of water to a dude in the fucking desert. I'm tired of this stigma that wrestling can't sell the advertisers. No, it's the people working for the network that can't fucking sell the advertising. The, if you can't sell the space, it's nobody's fault but your fucking own. You've got this many eyeballs that go for this product, but if you understood professional wrestling and you knew professional wrestling, you would know plenty of women watch, plenty of blacks watch, plenty of Hispanics watch, that people of all ages watch professional wrestling. If you actually bothered to do your market research, actually knew what the fuck you were doing, you would understand this. And henceforth, as a result, would be able to more effectively leverage what Impact Wrestling and TNA can actually bring to your crappy network to begin with. I understand you probably think shows like Ghost Asylum are big bones to business. But they're not. And this is coming from somebody like me who's into paranormal shit, who believes in that shit. That swears by shows like Ghost Adventures and the fucking Dead Files, for God's sakes. But you do shows like Ghost Asylum, and I have absolutely no interest in paying the 40 bucks, whatever the fuck it is, a month now, in order to get all the additional packages to get your fucking network to be able to watch goddamn Impact. The reason you have trouble selling to advertisers Destination America, you stupid fucks, is because of you. It's not because of a company like TNA. It's not because of Impact Wrestling. Ding dong, dumb dicks. Maybe you would be able to more effectively sell more advertising if you knew how to do your fucking job. If your people that were selling your advertising space didn't fucking suck. And clearly they fucking suck if it's a problem. Period. Period. 
And maybe more people would be more willing to advertise to your network and with your network and during your shows and give you more money to promote during your shows if you had more viewers, if you weren't a third-rate fucking network that charged an outrageous premium price in order to fucking watch your stupid shit. And then this whole thing about not being able to justify why you're plunking the money in. Why would you even bother putting that out clause in there to begin with? Did it really fucking matter? Why go into a thing half-assed? You were already obviously looking for a way out and an excuse to get out from the very beginning. I understand wanting to protect yourself and putting some type of out clause in there. But when it comes to something like this, you've got to at least give it 12, 18, if not 24 months to really be able to see if it has any long-term viability. I mean, compared to the other shit on your freaking network, is Impact really doing that bad? And are you really plunking that much into it? Looking at the production of the show, I beg to fucking differ. I beg to differ. If you're not going to be committed to it from the very beginning, then why the fuck even get into it from the very beginning anyways? And from TNA's standpoint, it's sad. Because they were trying to make this work. They were in a bad way. They needed to get somewhere. They had to go to someone. And they, in my opinion, have bent over backwards to try and do what Destination America wants them to fucking do. And what a surprise. A network that doesn't understand or get professional wrestling is trying to tell a wrestling company how to run professional wrestling. And it's not fucking working. Oh, this will spice it up. Let's bring Nick Groff on and we'll talk about Ghost Asylum and we'll work that into the fucking show. I'm sure that's going to happen at some fucking point in time. What a joke and a half. I get tired of the lack of accountability in our society and in particular, the lack of accountability in corporations and in this particular case, a television network like Destination America. The reason you suck is because you suck. The reason more people don't watch is because you are incompetent fucking nincompoops. The reason you can't sell more advertising and make more advertising dollars is because your advertising team fucking sucks and you as a network fucking suck. The reason you don't get more viewers to your stupid program is because your programming is fucking stupid. The reason you don't get more eyeballs on Impact Wrestling and TNA product in general is a multitude of factors, including the price that it has to be paid in order to get your stupid network as part of several add-on packages. Why am I going to spend all this money when all these channels I'm never going to fucking watch? If I was going to spend that much month basically just to watch your channel, I might as well just order the NFL Sunday ticket. And then I know I'm actually going to use it every single fucking week, and I'll spend less money doing it. Then you put the shit on Friday night in prime time and expect it to really deliver. And then you don't sit there and promote the shit. You don't advertise the shit. You don't market the shit. It's bad enough TNA can't fucking promote, market, or advertise to save their ass. Now they partner up with a network that clearly can't fucking do it either. Destination America wants to cancel TNA. How about Destination America gets canceled, fucking idiots? This is not TNA's fault. I feel really bad for TNA. Because they obviously were desperate and got into a bad situation. How the fuck could any company ever be successful working with idiots like Destination America clearly has? The only people to blame for Destination America's lack of success with Impact Wrestling or TNA and for the lack of success of the network is Destination America. But of course, the people involved with Destination America, just like so many other corporations in this country, We'll sit there and blame everybody else except their fucking selves when they're the ones that are truly to blame and they're the ones that are truly responsible. You know, TNA obviously never had a chance. And I think a lot of us have had that feeling for a while that this was just something to hold them over. This was just something to try and keep their head afloat and above water, but that it wasn't going to end well. But you're not even a year into it and you're already ready to give up on it. What a bunch of bullshit. I hope none of you ever watch Destination America. I hope none of you actually subscribe to their shit. And if they do decide to cancel TNA and all TNA programming, I hope you never watch them again. I hope you cancel their subscription to their stupid fucking network because they will, of course, have deserved it. But of course, they'll try to blame that on Impact Wrestling instead of their own stupidity and incompetence. How typical.